I'll catch you. Get back here. I'm coming no, for you. I don't, I don't talk to cops. No, no, get out of my car. You get out of my car. You get out of my car. Now, get out of my car. you are under arrest. I don't want to make money. I just want to play. <laughs> Sean oh. O'Shea, Brian Mullen Garrett, okay? And don't you forget the name. Okay. Okay. For forgetting your name so many times, okay. I'll let it slide. What do you mean you let it know. slide? I'm not giving you the option to not let it slide here. All right. I'm an Irishman. I swear to God, Carlini shouldn't be doing this. What's my name? Right. Say my name. Say my name. <laughs> my most recognizable feature oh man oh you know i mean look, they're piercing they're nice i like them. i kind of like the the artwork on your body man i mean you're a specimen thank you it's like what is it 8 a.m for you now it's 9 a.m well fair play to you oh, for getting good. on this early yeah, you know you gotta pay the bill somehow uh, oh wait what what you, what, you, what you mean by that this is my job it's your job too yeah you one of those guys that plays video games for a living oh guys have played video games for a living as well, my man. Ah, me too. Yeah, ah. Too There's two of us, mate. How are we going to do that? One of you friends? Yeah, we want to be friends. Do we? Nope. All right, drop your bag. Drop it. Drop the bag right now. Drop it. Oh, no. He fell over. <laughs> Please welcome the host of Roleplay Legends, Mr. Gibbon. Hello, hello. <laughs> First of all, thank you all so much for coming here today. My name is Mr. Gibbon, and I've been creating content to Twitch for four years. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have TikTok here or back home. You probably do, but maybe you have seen some content with Daisy or Tarkov, or of course today it's going to be GTRP. I am joined here with friends um, from all over the world, especially in Ireland, the UK, and back in America. And we're going to be talking about where role play has brought us here today and how friendships can be brought together. So please give a round of applause for everyone that's coming on. We first have Bosch Merchant. <laughs> we have Greenwood. And we have Ash, Fan Fan, Chocolate Bears, and, and Esfant. Welcome. Okay. Are you sitting here? <laughs> do you want to sit there? We can if you want. <laughs> Wait, where do I sit? No. Now we're just going to go up here and have like fun with one another and just try and get to know what between ourselves and yourselves. And I mean, look, if any of you have any questions, but please just throw them into the chat and just let us know. So yeah. Throw them. Here we go. How are Hi. we? Are we good? Hello. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Hi. Amazing. Hello. Good to be here. How's <laughs> everybody? Are we good? Good! Yay! It's absolutely wild though because um, we've been talking about this for months now and now we're finally, we're finally here in Rotterdam. It's crazy. Absolutely nuts. So, we're going to start with the first question. How did you all get into uh, roleplay? I mean, you can, whoever, throw, throw your answers in. Um, well, I'm pretty new to it. I got into it since uh, the last TwitchCon. I was hanging out a lot with um, my friend Anthony Z, mm -hmm. who's super into GTA roleplay. And um, he was like, oh, there's this new thing coming out. 4.0, you should really try it out. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I mean, for, like... No, 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 we're allowed to swear <laughs> ass. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll try it. And then I just got absolutely addicted and have been addicted for six months. Minus this past month, I kind of like tapered out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. How, wait, Jana, how did you say? <laughs> um, shout out to Foosley. She got me into <laughs> GTA RP. She plays April Foos. And um, she saved a character named January Foos. And so I play her as the youngest sister. And um, it's been really helpful to play as someone who's already established, like as a sister. Um, so I got through the city very easily, and uh, I started in January. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Uh, how I got started in role play. So I, uh, I played on the offline TV Rust server 
in 2020. Oh, wait, no, actually, no, I, I started before this. So I, I played 2.0, but only for like a week or two. I played 2.0, and I played another character named Ali. So Ali was a Persian immigrant to America who wanted to live out the American dream. So, you know, I'd, I'd go and I'd, you know, I'd do the accent, whatever. And uh, I only did it for like two weeks, whatever. And I was like, okay, cool, that was it. And I, and I, and I moved on. So I didn't really touch it again until 3.0 came out. It really was, it was Rust. I made Cornwood in Rust. And then uh, that's how I got to know Coil. And then uh, Coil, he, he you know, whitelisted me for 3.0 or whatever. And, uh, that's that's how I really got into it. So I played Ali again, and that's at the beginning of 3.0 was whenever I met Bosch actually on uh, on Ali. So he, that was with Anto Murphy, and again Ali, I was like, man, I'm not really feeling it. I want to do something else. Chat was like, hey, you should play Cletus Cornwood, who I came up with whenever I was playing Rust, and then. Yeah, the rest is kind of history. That's been my main, so. I mean, I've seen you, like, on World of Warcraft roleplay as well. And yeah, I, I've done some RP stuff with WoW, yeah. So you just, like, typing down your roleplay shenanigans? I mean, that, I, I tried doing that, and I couldn't. Yeah, I did, um... That's more self-insert, I would say. Yeah, that's just me being me. That's, uh... I'm a paladin in real life, and that's, uh... That's how things work. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, for me, it was more, um... It just kind of happened, you know? It started as me trying out a game DayZ, and I just kind of naturally started doing, I call it like a soft RP, you know, where I was still being myself, would still introduce myself as myself, but I would, you know, go in survival mode and kind of get other people to play along that weren't anticipating. Softcore role-playing. Softcore role-playing, yeah. <laughs> but now we're hardcore role playing. We're, we're getting there. You got to eat. Are we starting to the York? New York you, you settle down. You on? settle down. Um, but no, and then, um, you know, the videos started going uh, viral, that, and I'm like, ah, oh, people like this, you know? And I was like, and it's kind of fun. So I, I, that's when I started to dip into, you know, specific uh, GTA and uh, things made for RP, and it, it's been fun here and there. Yeah, it's you look because, like, really cool, like the mustache and the, the boots. Thank yeah. you. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, you know he didn't just wake up like that. that, that took you, don't, you don't know that. Uh, this you is what your character that. looks Maybe like just stuck as like, well. Uh, you sat back, sorting out this mustache for half an hour. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like cornering you right now. <laughs> no, but I, what you were saying there, like you started off with DayZ, and it's, it's mad because it's not just GTA that has roleplay. I mean, there's, there's Rust, there's DayZ, and I mean... I tried to roleplay in Escape from Tarkov as well. And I mean, that kind of went a kind of a different way, but still, I like to bring roleplay everywhere else. And I mean, it's great that you're, that you're all dabbling back into GTA, but it's, it's funny that you started there with AZ. Well, well, that's the thing. Um, for me personally, I've, I mean, I'm always, I'm the bottom fragger in any FPS game I play, so I had no other option but to <laughs> play no roleplay because I'm just a brutal gamer. So <laughs> I had to have something. So I, I guess my community said, like try G try role play because your personality is, is all you have and I don't even know if that's anything. <laughs> no, that's the thing. But um, you, you have so many accents. You have so many characters to role play. Well, I used to. So when I first started, I actually when I was a variety streamer for a year before I went into role play, I used to actually cosplay characters mm. on my my channel. So it was something I naturally did and do whatever game I play. It's not yep. just GTA. I try to just interact with people and try and build some sort of mini story and get some content out of that. Um, and I, I think that's why, you know, why we're here as well to discuss. Yeah. It's not just GTA; it's all games where, you know, interaction with people is just so important, and communication and how it can further and develop content. You know, just saying yes to whatever's presented in front of you and trusting who pre is presenting it to you, and, mm. and it's a back and forth. You know, mm. amazing. I mean, that's pretty much how I got started. So, I uh, one of my friends came over and he's like, you know, I was streaming like Minecraft, or when I started streaming. And he's like, try out GTA. And I was like, all right. So I tried out a public server. That's interesting. It's definitely not the role player I was expecting. But mm -hmm. then the 1985 server came about. And that's when I first met you. Yeah. I walked into Ash. And pretty much well, I just said yes. Any opportunity that came up, it was like, yes. Yeah. I'm part of it. Mm -hmm. I ended up doing all sorts. And it just went from there. So that's now all my channel is role player. People love it. That was a funny thing because like, you have a, your character is old. And you didn't have your camera. And I genuinely thought you were an old person. There's so many it. people are like, you're British? Well, yeah. yeah, when I found out you were British, it blew my mind. It was just, I'm gonna, boom. I'm gonna be honest. You're not an old man, so I'm gonna <laughs> ask. It's like, no, I'm 28. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll show you a clip now of the time when I was on GTA and we uh, bumped into a Chucky the doll. So here we go. 
cool. What the? Chucky's chasing my car. Oh. Let me get out and talk with him. Get, get out, you're a shanky. I'm Officer Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Chucky, calm Chucky, down, buddy. Calm yourself. That's no. a warning shot. What are you doing, Chucky? Ch what are you doing back there? Chucky put that. Oh, oh. Ch oh Jesus. Ch Chucky for. Uh, we got a Chucky on the loose. He just burnt our car down. I repeat. Chucky just burnt the car down. I'm very confused as to what's happening today, Rick. Oh, he's coming. Coming back. Chucky, yeah, put Chucky. the knife down for the love of God. Please, Chucky. No. Oh. <laughs> That little shit. I've got eyes and chalky. That's where he sounds. But he's so cute. I think, I think that was actually. I think that's actually Shots who was playing Chucky, and it's yes. just classic oh. NBL from him, you know, standard <laughs> NBL from Shots, to be honest with you. There was like, there was Chucky, there was Scream, there was Jason, there was Michael Myers, there was someone who was great. I saw, I I saw Zoyle that. yesterday, yeah, I'll, I'll let him know. There you go. Oh my god. That was, that was a fun week. It was great. Different I mean, every that's, day. that's what I love about the what? role play because they always have these like scenarios going on around like Christmas time or Halloween or what? something. Go ahead. No, I was gonna, what server was that on? I think what? it was, was, uh, was Prodigy. It Prodigy? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was Prodigy. Prodigy. That's Prodigy. Oh, okay, okay. It was like the week of Halloween. Like each oh, day. oh, I it was, love it was like that. So I cute. saw Pennywise one day and the, uh, they kind of that switched was it up wild. each day. You think no pixel are giving shots an admin panel? Is that like. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I wish that happened in no pixel. N no pixel. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> that sounds fun. Oh, definitely. Dude, I wish I had an admin Hi. panel. Roger G. That'd be a night for me. There you go. There's an idea for E. Okay, part of my favorite, one of my favorite things about RP is when role players do like the little plus one noises. Like when you got tasered, you're like, oh. <laughs> you have to, but it's so awkward yeah. with the cameras on because it's like they can see you like. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have ever done this, but I have carried that noise over to every game yeah, I, I have, play. Even if it's too. an FPS game and I get shot in a team death match, I'll go. Yeah. Like, oh, always like, yeah. Just jump do too the far and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. take fall damage and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> not 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 mine's not mine's not like choking and coughing anytime I'm hurt in any game. And it never makes sense. That's role play for you. Out of role play in real life now. I like how everyone has a different like hurt noise. Yeah. Everyone has their unique little twist. Like you have so many. You've loads. So, when did you all start role playing? Because I know, like, role play has been around for years and years and years. Um, but I feel like over the last three, four years, it's really blown up. So, were you were you part of that, or did you start before? Or um, I personally have probably been role playing about four, four and a half, five years. Yeah. Um, I got into GTA was the first thing I got into um, around 2.0, mid 2.0. If anyone's familiar with uh, No Pixel, the Basically, there's been iterations of updates, and they've been referred to as 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, now we're in 4.0. The big update is obviously a new number. So I've been around for a good few years, and I was just fortunate that I fell into a, a good group uh, of guys who kind of took me under their wing, and I've just had a lot of fun, and that's what kind of kept me involved, you know, that, that fun camaraderie with, with people in the city that kind of gets you wanting to go back and play more. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've been probably role-playing too long. At this stage. Oh, not at all. You're just there. <laughs> Mine's about three years, but it's only been about a year since uh, my channel really started getting the attention. So, um, what was I saying? Uh, that was when I joined Ignite. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I think just through interacting with you and Ash and others, I really give the channel some exposure. Yeah. And ever since then, it's just, it's just grown. So I've just kept with it. Good. Fantastic. Good. Yeah, for me, like I said, just the way I naturally play games was kind of like a soft RP. And... <laughs> That probably started uh, all the way back when I was still playing Escape from Tarkov, maybe two, two, three years ago. And then switching over to more RP stuff is somewhat recent. I think within the last year, year and a half is where I started purposely doing it more and stuff. Oh. So, so pretty recent, actually. Uh, I actually role-played for like six months, like these past six months, but... Like you said, with the soft role play, I role played with um, with NPCs a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's I what I'm really talking like about. I really like role play with NPCs. You get into it. Yeah, like the locals. 
Yeah, no, 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 not, not, not. I was in wondering. Music. I was like, like we just talked to all of us. Any game, yeah. you talk to them like they can hear you. Yeah, oh. it makes it so fun. I loved playing um, specifically Red Dead Redemption Two, mm -hmm. and I would just like go around and like kidnap women and then like. <laughs> what? Wrap them what? Up to my Why just women? They, they look yeah, so like, scared. What about men? Hold on. Why just women? <laughs> Why yeah, just like, women? From the, because I was like role playing to be a misogynist, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Getting character. I was role playing. Come on. Plus one. Plus one. Yes. Plus one. Um. What was the question? How long, How long have you been role playing? Oh, I started in January. Um, and uh, I did dabble before in the OTV Rust server. I would role played as like this dude that got really high, and I sold weed. To people and nice. I was like, yeah, <laughs> you want some, but um, yeah, it's been fun. I don't, I, I'm really new. Like, well, welcome, new. welcome thank to you, us. Thank you, thank you. It's addicting. Mm. Uh, I've been, uh, I've been role playing that I'm good at games for like my whole life. So. <laughs> uh, I started with like, uh, I started streaming RP, yeah, it was 2.0, barely, like, I, it almost didn't even count, like, I really started in 3.0. But yeah, 2.0 was like literally two weeks. And then 3.0, like I did, I did it for like probably close to a year total. Um, Cause I was like, I, I was on for a bunch of months and, I, and then I left and then I came back for a little bit and then I was like back and forth for a little bit for like that first year. So close to a year total, I'd say. Wow. Yeah, 3.0. Yeah. Well, and, no, and, then, and then recently like another, so yeah, like actual time, like two years almost, like a year and a half. I must be the oldest one here then. I've been at it for 11 years. 11? Yeah. Huh? No, I wasn't streaming or anything at all like that. So when I didn't, like, I would skip school and everything just to play with my friends at right. home. I would be on uh, Daisy RP when the servers were, like, 200 people capped. And I was, like, 17, 16 years of age trying to be who I, I, I I'm still role-playing on that server now, but I was, a, I was a press news reporter. And I had no idea how to be a press or news reporter because I was so, like, I didn't know what to do. So I just went around and created friendships and stuff, and I would upload these YouTubes, um, and I would get like maybe five, 10 viewers, and I would get like a few subscribers. I thought it was amazing, but that was 10, 11 years ago. And then everyone in the server is probably like, oh no, that kid's on again. Hi guys, can I get an interview? <laughs> no, but the, the thing is, like, they actually are like, wait, were you there 10 years ago? Because I just joined the server back two weeks ago, and they're like, were you Gibbon? from that time and I was like yeah and they're like Whoa. we yeah. thought we banned you it's, well, it, what are you doing back it's, it's crazy <laughs> no, but actually funny they did ban me so. nice <laughs> it's a different story how long, how long <laughs> we got time you streaming for or uh, creating content it's four years uh, two weeks ago oh my god so it's, it's wild I mean but the thing is I didn't get into role play with, with streaming until yeah. I think two years ago Okay. Um, because I was like, am I going to be too cringe doing it? Being honest, because I was like, I don't, I, I haven't seen any Irish streamers. Mm. I think that, I think that's the general perception out there. Before you kind of dive into role play, it's like, why are these people role playing in a computer game? Do you know, did you guys find that? Because before I started role playing, I really didn't have any <laughs> idea of it, mm. and I would think, you know, why would you role play in a video game? And, and then you just kind of fall into it, and you realize it's kind of like online acting in a sense, you know. And yeah. people who don't get it, who haven't seen it who haven't watched role play yeah. don't really understand it till you actually throw yourself into it you know it's, it's a lot of yeah. improv yeah. yeah like it is just oh it is all improv yeah oh yeah definitely. I mean you put on a no I never it. felt that way myself because I've always been like a theater kid oh, wow. <laughs> ever since I was young so oh. I, I've always been super into all that so you fit right in yeah, yeah. Play. I was a role play hater before, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would, like, make fun of Blau, like another streamer, and be like, ew, like, you're so cringe. Stop role-playing. Well, that's like, always what you yeah, see. Yeah, like, I would always him. hate on him, and now look at me. Mm. It's embarrassing. Well, I, I think that's what happens for a lot of people is, like, uh, they... It, it's that initial thought of, like, oh, you're, you're acting like you're somebody else in a video game. It's like, I'm going to be honest, it's almost more weird to do it the other way. <laughs> like... If I'm playing, if, I, if I'm doing GTA online and I'm not like playing a character when I'm walking around like playing with other people and I'm playing as myself, I feel like that's weird. Playing with yourself? Yeah. Oh, playing as my, that's it with myself. <laughs> I was like, whoa. That's from my other channel, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's how I feel. I think, it's, I think it's weird if I was to like play as myself as opposed to uh, like be, be this character that I made up. Yeah. Great. Well, we have, um, we have a very, very funny clip of yourself, Bosch, when you were uh, 
trying to be an Irish uh, detective inside the course. So we'll have a look at that now. Oh, she cut and out, Judge. All right. You may need a translator here. Mr. K is actually very uh, familiar with my local dialect. Under normal right. circumstances, <laughs> I'd stab this man in the head in the pursuit of justice in the American way. You know, I'm willing to let this slide. He said usually he'd be upset with someone stabbing his mother, but uh, because I'm such a handsome man, he'll let it go. Mr. McCree. Murphy played among the others, Judge. What do you have in relation to this case? Well, it's a great thing you ask that now. In the seven days I've been riding with this man, all along, all along, right along to me and the nurse. Met him in the situation, and it was very hairy bollocks. Uh, your Honor, I believe he's, he's rode in the car multiple times with Carmine here, and he's had to gargle his ball, which happened to be very hairy balls, multiple times. That is not fucking true. Are you, do you speak, do you speak Irish? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. You said the lawyer made an offer to you. What was that offer? Well, to be honest with you, Judge, no. The offer was Carmine's mum. She's already on the only familiar down down the streets and carrying through me. She's been down in the corner now seven times. She's like the village bicycle levels ever got, but I didn't not at the same time. This guy's making no fucking sense relevant. He's asking me the That's question. Uh, this is defending him. Defending him. Anybody could translate whatever the fuck this oh, really? is. about to do it right now. <laughs> Who do you suggest should be the translator then? Anybody else speak this guy's language? I don't think so. I think I speak Scandal. Listen, I know what I'm saying. Look it, look it. Heads ahead of head the What the fuck he's saying? See, I know what he's saying. That's, That's disgusting. Throw him out, Judge. Throw him out. We are here with the fucking gun. That's defamation. That's defamation, right? Bang out all of them now, Daddy's out together. Bang out all of them. Make it out. 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 Make it Oh, it's just like your, 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 it's just, <laughs> your mom doesn't have a degree in my cock, but she's very familiar with this, you know? <laughs> she's very familiar with my I think it's going pretty well, to be honest. I think we've got them by the balls, Carmine. <laughs> Oh my god. That is hilarious. <laughs> Just before any, like, you're not meant to understand what that character is saying, and that's the whole humor of the character. He, I role plays a, a deep southern Irish guy with a Kerry accent, and the humor is basically they don't really understand what he's saying. Uh, oh, but that's what happens, because when any Irish streamer or content creator goes into role play, half the, like, right now, this isn't really my accent type to be a little bit more lenient for all of you, but if I get into it, no one can understand me. And then everyone just goes around like, what the fuck is he saying? So it's like, um, I, 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 I don't know. It's, yeah. but, um, but I feel like that's what it is for a lot of us. Well, um, what made that scene, to be honest, is the guy who was translating for me, I, that was actually a second character I was playing, who was actually not a lawyer. He was actually up for whatever. But oh, I, right. I'm, with role play, I find there's trust involved. And you know, your best role play is with people that you know and trust that they'll take what you give, yeah. they'll lead with it and go past. So I would know Mr. K, because I'm, I'm my other character, I would play with him a lot. Right. And then the other guys, uh, Carmine, who was the cop, um, again, a lot of role play trust in it. And it's just, that was just a scene of people who understand role play yeah. and just ran with it and just, it was yeah. just, that's, that's what makes the best situations and scenarios. And would you, would you say that you all started with GTA on, on Twitch with roleplay? Or did you start um, a different game? Was this, like, what got you into roleplay, essentially, on Twitch? In terms of just me personally, though? No, just on Twitch. Like, what made you say, oh, hey, let's... Uh, my community. Yeah? I used to play variety in my community, just said, Simon, you're terrible at games. Just do something <laughs> where you can at be a personality or something, because this isn't working, but... They kind of pushed me into GTA because they thought I would be okay at it. Wow. And yourselves? Yeah, it was GTA for me from the get-go. And I think once you start getting involved in, like, storylines and meeting everyone's characters, you, you just get hooked. It is so addicting. Like, yeah. it's just non-stop. Wow. Yeah, for me, it was probably partly Daisy, And then everyone was like, oh, you should, why not give GTA a try? And I was like, well, all right. And so that's where I went from there. Um, for me, yeah, GTA as well. Yeah. But, um... I think, oh, I, sorry, I don't really remember the question, but I'll just talk about this anyway. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I think what got me into it was, like, the people streaming it, like, my friends, Anthony yeah. Z specifically, but then what got me to stay were, like, all the great people that met, that I met and were so lucky to, was so lucky to meet during my first, like, week or so. Mm -hmm. Like, really helped me stick around and, like, really made me feel most comfortable on the server and stuff. So it's definitely just people. 
I think first impressions in GTRP is really important as a new player because yeah. I have some friends who joined and it just That's didn't good. go so well. They didn't well. have like yeah, the yeah. guidance. They never woke up again. <laughs> it, it is like that though it because is. I technically did try it for like two days, two three years ago, and I was like, I did the same. It's not for me. Yeah, you know. So when everyone was like, "I'll oh, try it again," I was like, "Eh," and then I had a lot more fun, you know. Obviously, the second time around. Yeah. So um, yeah, my friends got me into it, and the people in Los Santos kept me in it. Good. So, yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, I think. Uh, so you guys touched on a really good point, and it's I, like every time. So so I quit in 3.0 because like I had like a million things going on. And I was like, I was Burning Crusade came out. I was a big WoW guy, classic WoW guy, and uh, I quit for Burning Crusade, really. And the one thing that made me, like, miss roleplay more than anything is the people that I roleplayed with regularly and just the general, like, I miss the atmosphere yeah. of, of being on a server where, oh, there's stuff happening and there's storylines developing and, like, I mean, those guys were asking all the time, like, dude, you gotta come back, you gotta come back. And I was like, I want to, like, I actually want to, but I also want to do this other thing and that was play Burning Crusade. And, um... Uh, yeah, it, it's always it's always about the people. It's always about the every people. everything is always about the people. So, uh, and I, I like in 4.0. Unfortunately, uh, like I, I don't have a lot of those same people that I played with in 3.0, but I have some of them, which has been cool. Uh, but I've also made a lot of new friends uh, in in 4.0. Like, cause uh, yeah, I'm main PD, and uh, there's like a lot of new cops. Like people started playing late 3.0 that I, that I didn't interact with and and whatnot. So, uh, making a lot of those friends now and. Uh, it's just been cool. I mean, it's it's always going to be more of the same, right? Like you're going to meet people that are cool, and, that, and that's really what's going to make you like stay connected in uh, any sort of community that you're part of, any any sort of gaming community. I think. And that's why we're here now because yeah. like we're it's we're bringing friends together and yeah. just talking about our experiences. And I mean, look, that's the thing with roleplay because there's always new circle of friends coming into the uh, into the area, whether it's going to be GTA or Daisy or whatever. You know, right. that's great. I think I think with roleplay as well, whatever game you're playing. Roleplay is a kind of special community in the sense that it's so inclusive. You know, you could be playing with somebody else and then somebody else and get involved in stories with different people. I mean, in other kind of game genres, you don't kind of get that ability to kind of form a relationship or a bond with those people because you're either on a team or you're shooting them and you don't really get that level of interaction. Yeah. So I think, like, when you play on roleplay servers, be it, like, Daisy, GTA, Red Dead you're always going to get that level of interaction which is going to like you know bring you mm. back because ultimately we all want to be included as human beings you know yeah. we want to be included be a part of something be it as a viewer a player a community member and i think role play over everything else that i've ever played has that kind of ability to draw you back because you feel that inclusion you know mm -hmm. of course That's it. i mean i've made lifelong friends now for role play and no matter where i'm at there's always the same people that want to come role play with you and it does you get stuck with it and that's it. Yeah, that's the way. But we, we actually, we've a re I saw this clip there earlier on of Chocobars yourself with the traffic stop. It's, it's hilarious. So we have it here for you. Hello, Asifer. Can you get at, can you go out more, no, not like that? Uh, oh, oh, like move? Uh, keep going. Uh, okay. Like, just keep going. Uh, can I, can I go? Like oh. Okay. Yeah. Like park on the curb? Yeah. Not yet. Well, can you go a little bit further? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any idea why we may have stopped you today, ma'am? Did you pull me over because love you love this car? Like, isn't it Enzo. so adorable? I just got it. I'm still learning. Um, it's, you know, it, it, I, I do understand it does get a little speedy sometimes. I'm trying my best. A little? January? Yes. You were going 117 miles an hour. <laughs> I thought that said 17, not 117. Oh, really? You really thought you were going 17 miles an hour? January? Yeah, I was. I was wondering. Oh, come wow. on. Okay, I'm really sorry, Austin. Please, please don't give me oh, a ticket. Yeah, It'll be okay. my first ticket. I'll stage, cry, please. and then my my parents are gonna be so mad at me. Please, Jeb, please, 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 please. I promise I won't. This is usually how it goes. No, 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 no. Okay. Usually they lie, right? Okay, yes. And then then they cry. <laughs> Oh no! And then, depending on who the person is, then they goodbye. That means they drive away. I won't drive I away. January. I'll be a good girl. I'll take into consideration that this is your first time. Okay. Like within the two days driving the car, just be very careful with speeding. Are you giving her a ticket? No, no, no. I'm just no, gonna no. put there that um, 
that she got a verbal warning. Can you also write in a bracket that January is very sorry? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, another another bracket saying she didn't mean it as well. Yes. Um, and mean? then and then another one that says she's just a baby. Oh. Well, I think we're good to go. Uh, you can leave <laughs> when your lights are off, ma'am. Goodbye, January. Uh, goodbye. I'm so sorry I got pulled over. I'm gonna go. I'm it's coming okay. now. I'm on my okay, way. Yeah, Bye, worry. officers. Okay. See you soon. Oh yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Can I be let off? Are you about to get pulled over again? Yes. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm going. I'm going legally. I'm going legally. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. That was so good. And that, Ew, that's what I'm it's new. like. <laughs> but so, like, what inspired your characters then on, on roleplay then? I mean, because they're very unique. I mean, based off of April Foods, April Foods is like... Um, a narcissistic, bossy, bad bitch girl. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. Um, and so, as a younger sister, I made her more entitled, bratty, like used to getting what she wants, that kind of attitude. And it's been really fun playing as that character. <laughs> I love annoying you. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I love that stuff. Uh, for me, I guess. Are we going around the same? Well, yeah, of course, of course. Oh, okay. Um, like I, I, I don't. Know, I felt like cued to to talk about. It. So, uh, yeah, my uh, uh, Cletus Cornwood is a self insert, a hundred percent. No, I, I basically how I came up with Cornwood was I tried to take every like like 40, 50, 60 year old Texas high school football coach <laughs> sort of personality trait that I've you know. I've been, I, you know, I, I did, so those of you guys who don't know, uh, I was very involved in football growing up. Uh, I was going to be a football coach. I worked in college football all before I started streaming. So I, I have this like sort of experience and I also grew up in Texas. So I was like, I need to take all these stereotypes and just turn it into this one person and then make him into a cop. And wow. uh, yeah, that's, that's how I came up with Cornwood. It's a great combination right yeah. there. And... Uh, I can, for me, uh, I would actually base my character off of Extra Emily, and uh, I asked her beforehand, I was like, are you going to try role play? She's like, mm, probably not. And I was like, in that case, can I play you? And so I based my entire persona around her. My character name was Emily as well. And then 4.0 happened, and she was like, fuck, I kind of want to try it now. And then so I kind of pivoted away from her while retaining some of those same personality traits, such as like, I think my character, I named her Fanny. She's, uh, she's kind of ditzy, she's very like, very, she's overly positive when you're not supposed to be positive. She's like, hi, hey guys, you know, super fucking annoying. Like, <laughs> I, I don't, I would not like her in real life, but, but yeah. Your audience loves her, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, for me, it's a, uh, it kind of, what well, Fawn was saying, like, you kind of put yourself in it, you know, and then add a little twist. Mm -hmm. So I even name my characters, they all have the same first name, which happens to be mine, Bobby. And I change the last name as I go. And I, I like adding little quirks to them, you know, because you get the personal side that makes it feel more natural, you know, and, and less forced. But you throw in little things. And one of my favorite characters to play um, was uh, Bobby Laguzioni. Wow. On, uh, in the 1985 server. And, and one thing I really liked about that character is he had almost like that the, the dumb innocence, you know, like feels like he always is helping. Um, but is a complete idiot, mm -hmm. you know, and will make every situation worse, um, but in the nicest way possible, and, and things just go downhill from there, and, and that's just kind of, I just kind of let it form itself as it was going, you know? Good, good. Yeah, I know my character was obviously, he's an old man, uh, American-Italian, so we've all seen, like, the likes of Goodfellas and stuff like that, I was like, you know what? Sure, I'll try to be serious, but every time we just get in the worst situations, he thinks he's a good criminal, but he's absolutely awful. Could you do the voice for us? I know I'm putting you on the spot, but it's I've amazing. Got, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Get it out there, come on. Yeah, Whip it, it out so there. It's so good, it's so good. How you doing, guys? My name is Tony Ferrelli. I'm an old man, terrible criminal. There we it's go. so good, that not, I love it. I would it. not expect that to be like you. Yeah, that's exactly. why, that's why oh, a lot of people God. come in and they're like, you're British? Yeah, what? It's like, whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. Have I met you in character yet? Uh, I haven't dabbled in no pixel. 
So oh, okay, okay. I'm saying he should go to No Pixel because wow. you'll have a blast. Yeah, is that, wow. That's just impressive. Hitting, like, come on. Wow. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I'm still shocked. <laughs> I know. Um, I uh, actually, I originally played. When I first started role playing, I, my first character was actually uh, a Texan. Vietnam Korean war vet who was a taxi <laughs> driver and he ran a, a taxi cab called Cover Fire Cab. I didn't Cabs, know this at all. Getting you to your destination regardless of your situation. And I would kind of just try and fly <laughs> in to like gang situations or something and be like, hey, you don't need to pick up, you know, I'm here, you know. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I kind of, I, I tried that out. Uh, but then as everyone's kind of alluded to already, you kind of lean on experiences that you've had. I think that's when your best character traits come out. So... I went down the road of, okay, I'm Irish, let's play up to my Irishness. So I went, you know, Anton Murphy, you know, from Dublin City, yeah. Liberties, you know, it's the start of it. And it kind of grew, because people enjoy the Irish, you know. Course, yeah. like, people like the Irish, we were quite well liked internationally. So at that point, I was the only Irish person on No Pixel. There was no one else. There wasn't even very many British people. So to have an accent uh, made you stand out. And I've always had a opinion on role play that if you're standing out if people like you or they don't like you but they have an opinion on you mm -hmm. you're doing something right and if you if people remember you you're doing something right so that's why I, that's good so i did anto and that's why i always try and just do accents regardless of whether i'm good or not because i just i feel like you fall into a character a little bit more you sometimes, do you know yeah like what i did was i would base it off of a movie character so i did mine off of a, i had two uh one was ryan gosling for the movie drive I don't know if anyone has seen that, but all I would do was I would dress up like Ryan Gosling in the movie and I would go around and drive and I would be the worst driver in the whole server and I'd be picking up people to get out of robberies or heists or try and create like some sort of high-speed chase. And then another was uh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal from uh, Nightcrawler. It's Nightcrawler, yeah. yeah, Nightcrawler. So what I did was I would go around and I would cause um, scenes for the cops to go out and I would plant evidence all around the place just so the story would be better for me to, to, to capture it all on camera and it just caused like ruckus all over the server saying like why is there a person going around just killing innocent people and like recording it so I think the first time you came to me you brought me a notepad and I was like yeah I've been chased by four Russian guys in a white car yeah. they're gonna meet down can you do something can you help me out yeah oh, that was it was hilarious but we have a clip of uh, Esfan's character with, uh, as a uh, Cornwood so we'll, oh, we'll nice. check it out here here we go Oh, got him. We got a couple. Stay down, Mr. Stay down. Nope. <laughs> oh. Get me out of handcuffs. Put, what the hell put we down. Got? Oh, god damn it. How the hell did we do this? Okay. Uh. <laughs> hey, we need help. We need backup immediately. We managed to cuff each other. <laughs> oh, my god. You fucking idiot. Here, he's in the car. He's in the car. He's in the car. He's in the car. He's in the truck. He's in the truck. In the truck. In the big truck. He's in the truck. No, <laughs> don't you fucking do this. What the Get fuck? Get the taser. Oh, oh, you dick, I'm sorry. <laughs> Put your arms behind your back. Get on your fingers. Me. Do it now. Oh, God. Simulating oh. coughing. <laughs> Thank you. Holy All right. I'm Did everybody taste everybody? Did y'all go this once? Don't me in the dick, okay? Yes. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay. I remember those days. <laughs> All right, Amos, can you look at us? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, it's so funny. It's so funny. So Dude, I, I love Five O. That's that's Tony Andrews is played by Five O Antho, who like, so he's he's a police officer in real life. Okay. So he is like he is like the guy on on No Pixel. It was like him and Coil, uh, like built out the PD originally. He's the server owner for those. Yeah, years. and he, he doesn't have time to play as much anymore because he's like, so he went from like RPing as a, as a cop in NoPixel, and now he's like a real life FTO, and he's like actually like trains other cadets and stuff in real life, so. Wow. Yeah, so that's who I like, I learned from. Like I learned all the cop stuff from him, so and I still talk to him like all the time, so. Uh, would you be kind of like worried in case they get a little bit animated that they actually think that they're cops there and then playing a video <laughs> game? Because that would be my fear. Well, so, so what's funny is I, I feel like if you are RPing as a cop yeah. and then you are a cop in real life, you, and we have, there's, there's a few guys who are, who are police officers in real life who RP as, as, as cops, and 
when they're RPing, it's like they can like just kind of let loose and do all the things that like they wouldn't do in real life. Yeah. So they will just like say or do something ridiculous or like be really abrasive and rude to people. But it's like it's all memes and like everybody knows it's all memes. Uh, so yeah, no, it's 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 I don't know, it's fun. And it's a most, it's a good time. So the most enjoyable moment, like like what did you enjoy the most about role playing games? Is there any moment there particularly that was like this is what I want to do, or this is why I'm doing this? Oh my, I I think to this day, there I don't know about a specific moment that made me stay longer, but to this day, my favorite moments are traffic stops with cops because there's such yeah. like one off interactions yeah. that you know you're going to have to lie. So it's like role-playing within role-play. Right. So you get to create a, another fake story, another fake voice, another fake excuse just to get out of it. It's always like the craziest shit. And the cops always like play along. And it's just, it's so much fun. There are so many great role-players and like they just make it even weirder and they get more weirded out, <laughs> which make it just like the it funniest makes it interactions. For content. Yeah, it okay. just makes it fun for everyone. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, traffic stops are, are killer. Traffic yeah, stops are really good. <laughs> my top yeah. tier. I love role playing with cops as well, especially <laughs> ones that are like for fun. You know, they're not taking it too seriously. Um, they're playing into my role play and it makes it feel more comfortable because I'm already so nervous getting pulled over as a new player. So I'm like, oh no. <laughs> she doesn't have a felony, by the way, my character. So I'm just <laughs> super nervous. And, oh, no. uh, well, <laughs> <it's> like, oh. <laughs> Not Jess. <laughs> She's done nothing wrong, but yeah, I, I love role, even role playing with uh, mm. as fans character uh. has been really funny. Love bothering them. Yeah, I've, I've said this a few times to my community. Some of the best interactions I've I love the goofy role play, obviously, but some of the best interactions I've had as a criminal cop has been actually after I've been arrested. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes it can go both ways depending yeah. on frustrations and people, obviously. But some of the best interactions I've had have been in the process of going to the jail cell and negotiating the cell, you know, um, because you kind of have to role play or you don't. You choose what you want to do as a yeah. criminal. And I think those role play situations can be really great. But yeah. uh, I just like, I just enjoy goofy. I'm fortunate that the people I play with regularly are, are very goofy, light minded mm -hmm. people. And we just do stupid things, yeah. which is funny, you know. As long as you're having fun, that's what it, that's what it's all for. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I think like uh, uh, you can go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just my my. <laughs> you're somewhere. good. Now my my favorite uh, memory in in role play is probably meeting this guy, because he like uh, he was like this like kind of like a crime lord. You know, it was like everyone knew him. He would get everybody out of trouble. He would get in trouble. You know, every now and then. But he knew what he was doing, and I kind of forced him to take me under his wing. Like, I'm I to need save money, you know, yeah. and, and stuff like that. Like, can you show me? And like I said, my guy was a, a complete idiot. Mm -hmm. And it would borderline get him arrested every time, which yeah. was hilarious. To me. And, and that's what really got me to keep playing um, GTA RP, was, uh, that whole yeah, storyline going. Great. Amazing. I think that's it. I think it's more the people. I couldn't really pinpoint an exact moment where I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. I think it's the people you meet. Like, yeah, I know it is. Yeah, 100%. Because yeah. they're the ones that like, keep you playing it and keep the viewers watching. And I was like the same as yourself. Like you were saying about traffic stops, that's what happened to me as well. But there was another player, Gucci. Oh yes. Who uh, I had to contact. I was like, I need help. And then he passed you over to you, and he goes, "You will send. You will be sent out to help me." And it was just a chaotic moment. It was. It was hilarious. But we have a we have a very very funny clip of yourself trying to make money on oh. uh, on GTRP now in a minute. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of walls here, a lot of blocks. I'm PPE ready. Look at this. Put the final piece in, buddy. I don't know what we would have done without this wall here. We're changing the world, buddy. We're changing the world. What's the uh, what's the pay like for this job? It can be from like 160 to like 300, something like that. But if you ask me, the lumber job is what it is. We have the big money. Yeah, I'll be fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Oh, uh, we can hit that pillbox on the way back. Hey, careful there. How would oh, I hit? I tried to hit no. an F. Just walk off. Why is ah! no? <laughs> Gotta get you to pillbox. Okay. Look at him. <laughs> Do I see a bone sticking out of there? It's my. All right, sir. Tell me what's wrong. Fall the ladder. Everything hurts. Everything. <laughs> oh sh. You taking him to pillbox? Am I not gonna get paid? Up to it. I tried hitting F, I tried just walking up to it. 
All right, we got one patient with the case of uh, everything hurts. Well, he fell, and he has a case of everything hurts. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a case of everything hurts. Sir, are you able to hear us? Yeah, I hear you. All right, so you, you fell. How far did you fall about, roughly? Which time? Okay. Do I get workers comp? You guys... Yeah? Come closer. I can't, it's hard to talk. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Do you guys sell beer? Oh, my God. How, how are you feeling? <laughs> um, not great, Jonas. Not great. I can't get over how similar you look at look the two of you. It's yeah, it's, it's so good. It makes it feel natural. <laughs> what, what server was that on? That one was Ignite, I believe. That was the 1985 uh, yeah. server. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, you were trying to get me to come back to that one. Yeah, that was, it was good. Yeah, people, for people a while, like, it was good. People, people kept telling me, he's like, dude, you need to bring Corridor to Ignite 1985. It would be so good. In the I'm 80s, like, it was cool. See, Ignite... I just, was, I just didn't have time. It was awesome for something different, like the scenery, you know? And, and you get to really play up to it. Not everybody's on their cell phones and all that. You get to, like, mail letters, you know, and yeah. stuff like that. But there were, you know, you, you think even... It would you assume back in time there was less to do? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. So it kind of had that. It was a nice scenery, but you know, not yeah. as much. It was, it was, it yeah. was nice. You know, for a little bit. Well, I think one of the things that's that's uh, kind of hard is uh, whenever trying to find the balance for a server that's uh, making things mechanics driven mm -hmm. versus role play driven, because you need to have a certain degree of mechanics in order to. Uh, enable and enhance the role play, yeah. but if you if you have too many mechanics, then the players naturally become more focused on mechanics, and yeah. they start playing like the MMO of GTA RP instead of like the role play part of it. Exactly. Yeah. So, it's, it's like exactly. that with like different servers though, because there's like there's so many servers now that they're all very very different, and I think it's a little demeaning like trying out a new server. Like I would love to try No Pixel, but it's just there's a lot in it. Yeah, yeah. you got to learn the new mechanics yeah. and yeah. Makes sense. So with the, like, I think we kind of touched base on this already, but like communicating with the people in the server, would you say that's like extremely important to keep you there or would you just like brush it off and? Uh, I, I mean, for me, it, for me, it certainly is. I mean, I would say, I, I would take it, uh, I mean, I feel like if, if you're not like actively like communicating with people on the server and building relationships with, with the other people on the server, like in character and whatnot, then it's like, or even there, you know, yeah. like it's like that because that's that's really the core of what it is is building out those storylines. Yeah. So it's different structures and groups as well. Obviously, yeah. different different groups. If you're part of the PD or you're in a gang or you're in another group, like there's varying degrees of communication within each gang. So I think it's all dependent on your circle as well to an extent, you know, and how 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 you form those friendships. So OC can kind of sometimes also dictate how your communication is in city, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's true. I actually think it's pretty funny. So um, one of the big reasons why I even stayed playing longer than two days is because of like three specific people, Ming and Forehead and Jack. And then we formed this group that became a much bigger group called the Besties. It's uh, supposed to be a gang. That's great. And besties. Then, <laughs> besties slay. And then um, <laughs> uh, I actually think bad communication is, it's so triggering, but it's so funny. Because mm. some of the people in our group are just so shit at communicating, uh, specifically Razzy. He's like oh, absolute no. ass. And he'll like, he'll retell this. I'll say you like, really feel there, Fun Fun. <laughs> you can feel the energy from you know? <laughs> And then like sometimes you can't understand what he's saying or like he'll just completely tell the story wrong. But then everyone has like a different story of what went down. But I think it makes it really funny. Because then we come together as a group and then we're all like, why did you say this? But that's not even what happened at all. And and like, I, I kind of enjoy that. We have a clip of you uh, with a robbery. Was that with the besties? It's coming up that now. Doesn't, that doesn't even ring a bell. Yeah, hold on. We'll, we'll see this clip here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one box. second, box. sire. Yeah, now you're good. You can't say sire. Yeah. You gotta say yo. You gotta, you gotta like press them. You know what I mean? Like we, we, oh, we're in the, we're in the south side right now. What should I call him instead? Be like yo, bitch. Like yo, bitch. Oh, yo, bitch. Give me, give me, give me five bucks right now. My goons gonna step on you. You know what I mean? My, my who's going to step on him? Your goons. Your my, goons. my goons. The big dogs. The big okay. Dogs. Yeah. You know we'll stand behind you. Okay. Exactly. <clears throat> uh, oh, for Goober, you need a Goober. Uh, uh no. Uh, uh, hello, bitch. Uh, give me five Whoa. bucks, or my goons will step on you. What the? My my big dogs. 
my big doggy dogs. They will, they're going to step on you and lick your face and then chew it all off. Nope. What the fuck? Oh, so, yeah, yeah. hand over five bucks right now, a uh, bitch. Press the button. That's great. Yes. I hate I hate watching myself. I can't stand it. Oh my god. So like the thing is, so would you say now that the game, like the role play games, would give you a more sort of freedom than any other game does? As in, like you can kind of be a little bit more yourself, or you could be someone that you would want to be, but kind of you're visored by the game. I don't think anything else quite gives you as much opportunity and you can kind of just do whatever you want and it's with other people, it's all online, you're building these storylines. I don't think anything else really offers that outside of roleplay. You can do GTA. anything and say anything in the, in the name of roleplay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you you want to be well, an not asshole? Not anything. Okay, well, not yeah, anything. No. But. Or at least you can use it as an excuse afterwards and everyone gets angry. It was roleplay, guys. <laughs> I was a good character. <laughs> I was a good character. Classic. 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 Roleplay, guys. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> No, it makes, uh, and like we said in the beginning, how role play could be even with NPCs in, in single player games. It, to me, that makes games more entertaining to, you know, watch and perform playing. You know, it, it, uh, it really does add a huge thing when you inject your personality mm -hmm. into games, and role play is really the way to do that best, in my opinion. Yeah, that's great. And we, I think there's a clip coming up now between, I think it's yourself and myself, Greenwood, that we're going to show now. Press the button, Tony. Just press the button, Tony. Third floor, come on. <laughs> I'm fucking trying. Did you press the button, Tony? I fucking said I pressed the button. Hey, right, give it a second. Any second. Um. Yeah, that better never work. From the top, Nightcrawler. Give it to me straight. Here's the headline. Corrupt police officers. Okay, okay. Might need to work on the headline. My gun line. You guys see this? Somebody <laughs> crashed down here. I see Rolf. Oh, 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 insane. But he is most likely toast for sure. Yeah! That don't look great! He's definitely dead. Tony, write this down. We're gonna have to uh, get another night crowder. He is most likely toast. Should we go scoop him up? Well, I mean, we have two options. I could drop you off over the side right here, and we could see if you survive, and possibly Nightcrawler is still alive. But most likely, he's probably dead. I mean, there's only one way for us to find out, Tony. There's only oh. one way for us to find out. Oh, God. <laughs> So you, I'm gonna gently drop you over the side next yeah, to the bushes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, then, drop me in the bush. And It'll then break my fall. hopefully, hopefully you'll be all right. You climb, you scare down this tree, and then you grab fucking Nightcrawler, and we're gonna go to the hospital. All right, just just nice and gentle, Kenny. You you know. All right, hold give, still. Me, give me give, give me a countdown, so I know when just he's like coming. A, okay, you ready? Yeah, guy? yeah, baby. I'm sure it'll be fine. The hospital. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. It was for giant. Sorry, guys. I got done as fast as I can. The elevator's broken. Play <laughs> cool, baby. What happened here, <laughs> gentlemen? You guys are not gonna believe this one. Please don't tell me they fell from the roof. Well, I wish that was the case, but uh. Please start from the beginning. Sure. The year was 1983. <laughs> Sir, I appreciate your story, but tell me what happened to these gentlemen. Oh, okay. Yeah, speed it up a little bit. We were on top of the roof, and uh, huh? next thing you know, boom, these guys over the side, and uh, now we're here. So they fell off the building. Could have been pushed, possibly. All right, there we go, sir. All right, we're good to go. <laughs> God, that's not gonna help. Oh, good lord. Oh, God. He never straps me in. He's not trying to shoot him. He just asked if you guys. Oh, oh my God. Oh, jeez. I'm serious. Right. I am strapping you both in. Did you guys get pushed from that building? I kind of need to call the police. Hey, Crawler. I'm bringing the cops. We need to go. Happen in bed, boy. There we go. About as good driving this thing as Tony behind a car. Okay. We need to get you fucking out of here before you get back on a goddamn hospital bed. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take you back up top now. <laughs> that was oh. great. So that, so that was a thing. So on the that was the uh, ignite server, but the wheelchairs were buggy. So whenever you got into them and you tried to move, it would just blow up. So that was that was great. Yeah. But um. What advice would you give to everyone here or folks back home that would want to get into, uh, into role play? Um, <laughs> just if you, you throw yourself, immerse yourself and just trust the other people. Trust the ability of the person you're role playing with to uh, take you somewhere, particularly if you think there's somebody who has a bit of experience because 
I think the best role play is when you trust the other person on the other side of, or other people on the sides of interactions and trust where they're going to bring you in terms of the direction of the role play. So just say yes. It's a classic one, but just say yes. Forget about winning or losing and just yeah. see what happens with the scenario and trust the person or people that you're role playing with would be my you advice. Really, you really got to embrace the cringe because it's only, it's only cringe if you act like it's cringe. Mm -hmm. yes. But then if, if, it's, if you don't act like it's cringe and you embrace it, it becomes funny instead. Mm -hmm. It's only awkward if you make it awkward, yeah. basically. And and as a new player, like I know it's really scary to go out there and you see other role players out there and you're like, oh my god, I don't know if I can interact with them. Like I stayed in the in the apartment buildings for like five minutes running around. I was so scared. I was so scared. But once you get out there, you just gotta again trust the people out there. They'll They'll talk to you. They'll interact with you, hopefully, and um, and uh, keep trying because it's it's really fun. It really is. Yeah, I'd say jump in, say yeah. hello to everyone, and if anyone gives you an opportunity, just say yes. Just roll with it. Eventually, you'll find your people. You'll get a lot more comfortable with it, and uh, that's when you get hooked. And that's it. That's all you'll do, role play for the rest of your life. What? Uh, you'll never leave. <laughs> Uh, I, I guess what I would say is, uh, I, I guess when you're talking about creating your character, um, I mean, you can go in a lot of directions with this, but this is something that I had, a, I had this conversation with a friend of mine, Chris, Chris Tombstone, he plays, uh, he plays Flop on, uh, on NoPixel, um, Flop Dugong. So we are saying the, one of the best things you can do whenever you're creating your first character to like learning how to role play is by creating a character who is as much like just perpendicular to your character like as a person uh, in real life. So like basically the complete opposite of yourself. Because if you play somebody that is very different from yourself, it allows you to do these things where you can, like, like Bosch said, don't care about not winning or losing. And, and you can yes and people because it helps like the, the, the pretense of, hey, I'm playing a character. This is not me, this is not who I am. So it, it helps to disconnect a little bit and uh, just make content as opposed to uh, worrying about the wins and losses. Yeah, and side note, I, I, I couldn't help but notice when the word cringe was brought up, Greenwood was staring at me, breathing down my neck, and uh, like, I know I have this look like I'm real tough, but I, I, I inside I'm soft, all right? It's a marshmallow, <laughs> like, like a puppy. <laughs> yeah, like a puppy. No, um, yeah, I, I kind of agree with what everyone said here. Sometimes you just got to jump in and, you know, trust what's going on. And you might find out you don't like it, but you'll never know unless you dive in and, and kind of eat what people feed you, you know? I think as well, if there's any time that you're like, oh my god, I don't know what character that I want to do, what I always do is I will look at like a favorite movie of mine and I would try and see if I can connect myself personally to that movie character. So I, like I said, I did Ryan Gosling from Drive, I did Jake Gyllenhaal from, uh, from Nightcrawler, and... Uh, when's, the, when's the Jon Snow cosplay coming? <laughs> I mean, I've been asked to do that as well, but I, I don't have the accent for it. I could try, but it would just be coming out with a smattering of Irish and, and English, but that'd be, it'd be terrible. But, um, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. I think that'd be, if you're trying to connect yourself, just find something like a favorite character that you want to, that you watch. Um, I mean, right now, my character is based off of uh, uh, Civil War, um, the, the press, the news. So right now, I'm going around trying to find... Uh, Violence and something I can write down, and something that the uh, that the viewers can engage with, and and go from there. So I think that'll be that'll be the best. But I, I think we're kind of more or less at the end of it now, which is unbelievable. I mean, if you want to tell everyone where they can find you, and I do the same to end it. I, mean, I feel like everyone knows where to find you guys, but just in case if there was anyone at home that didn't. I can't understand what you're saying. It's the, it's the, <laughs> it's the accents. I know. So they were okay. saying I need to talk. I don't know what you're telling us to do. <laughs> No, guys, thank you so much for, for coming out. And thank you. Thank you for, thanks for coming for having us. Thank you, for everybody, and everybody here for coming along yes. as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming to watch. Thank you. Give it up for Mr. Gibbon. Yeah. Thanks, Ed.